been a minute, but I am back and I'm excited to share some new tutorials with you guys. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Carissa and I am a freelance makeup artist based in Kingston, Jamaica, and I focus on just naturally beautiful makeup. I'm all about a natural look. That's my vibe. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys, uh, it's really primarily an eye makeup tutorial. I just, I was fooling around the other day, tried this out, and I got so many compliments on it, so I thought, let me make a tutorial. So I'm going to walk you through that today. I'm also going to be showing you, I guess, what my latest foundation routine is, so to speak. Uh, so if you would like to see how to create this look right here, then please keep watching. Let me start off with my moisturizer as usual. Anybody who knows me knows I love the Aveeno Positively Radiant Cleanser and Moisturizer. I use them both every day. And my apologies if I'm looking off to the side. The viewfinder of the camera is my mirror today. So, you know, just to kind of see what I'm doing. That's all in. Give that a second to dry. And then I'm going to go with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which I have been using since the past, I want to say, week week or two weeks and I really like it so far it really does grip the makeup which is what it's supposed to do so I really like it so far I'm just gonna give that moisturizer time to dry and in the meantime this is the star of the show today the Juvia's the berries palette which looks like this Two pumps of this, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Uh, you could apply this with your hands. I'm gonna apply it with a brush today just because I don't feel like getting my hands in it. Woo! Y'all, it is hot. I'm not sure why summer has started in March in Jamaica, but it's hot. It's real hot. And I can't turn on my fan because it's going to make too much noise for the video. So, y'all see me sitting here cute, but I'm actually sweating buckets. It's terrible. If you're new here, please leave a comment and let me know. I feel like everybody's kind of new here because this is a new channel. However, y'all can help me, you know, expand that by liking, subscribing, leaving a comment, sharing this with a friend. So if you're new here, let me know. If you're not new here, welcome back. And also let me know in a comment. I would love to, to see who is new and who is not. You know, my, my demographics, my analytics and such. All right, I'm gonna go in with foundation and I have been using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. My shade is Moria, uh, which is, yeah, Moria. I'm also going to be using a little bit of coconut, uh, the Maybelline Superstay. Mine looks like this because I condense things for my kit. So no, you will not find this in the pharmacy. This is just my condensed packaging for my kit so that it's not heavy because bottles like this add up uh, weight-wise. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of this. I feel like my actual shade in NARS is um, Macau, but I don't know. We'll see, Moria. I, I feel like I'm somewhere in between the two. That's why I'm gonna add a little bit of the coconut as well two pumps of the nars on the back of my hand and one of coconut for one little squeeze Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and I'm using the shade deep chestnut Which is pretty close to my skin tone. It's not a very bright highlight But that's what I prefer nowadays if I want a brighter highlight. I would use deep olive Which is this one so you can kind of tell The difference in shades here This is deep olive and this is chestnut, which I'm just like that. And I, that's pretty much where I put it. Uh, sometimes I'll do hair in the center of my forehead. I don't really do my chin anymore because I'm gonna wear a mask, why bother? And this is not the kind of concealer that you want to leave to dry you know, or to get tacky before you blend it out because once it dries, it's not moving. Literally, it's not moving. So if you're using the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer, I would encourage you to just blend that out more or less right after you put it on. I have not had any difficulty with that whatsoever. Uh, works really well for me. And the, the color payoff is great. The coverage is fantastic. And it really does stay. Elf has two different versions of this concealer. This one is the matte one. So the 16 hour camel concealer is the one that's going to dry down matte and it's not going to move. They have another one that's more radiant. It doesn't dry down matte. I don't remember what the name of it is. I haven't tried that one. Maybe that one you could leave to dry down a little bit before you blend it out. But for this one, the 16 hour camel, no, no, no get your life collect it and blend it up fast because it's gonna stay now i'm going in with the tried and true rcma no color powder and this blush by beauty stop by pageant boss absolutely love um nicole stoddard i met her recently at the jamaica observer beauty and wellness summit and I had the privilege of being gifted with one of her brush sets. Let me see if I can show you guys. And they're dirty because I've been using them in this beautiful case. Guys, you've got to check her out. Her brushes are the softest things you'll ever feel. They're absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to see if I can do a giveaway for you guys. Uh... Of one of these brush sets she has her own line of makeup and I firmly believe in supporting local businesses she's such a sweet girl really really nice and just her vision for herself and where she wants to go with her company and her business and as a makeup artist yeah I believe in it and I think she's gonna get there so check her out she's on Instagram Beauty Stop by Pageant Boss. Please check her out. These brushes are so soft. And this one, I will purchase a set, this brush set, just for this brush. It's the perfect brush to go under your eyes to set concealer. I mean, honestly. Perfect brush for highlighting. And I feel like I just need like five of these. You know what I mean? And if I have to buy the whole set, I'll buy it. It's fine. But... This brush alone, all of them, they're just so soft. The powder brush, I mean, oh my God. Anyway, Beauty Stop by Pageant Boss. Please check her out. Absolutely fantastic stuff. All right, just gonna dust a little bit right here. My nose tends to manufacture oil, so I just leave a little extra powder there. Hoping it will suck some up. Then, one of my new favorites, but it's really an old favorite. Anybody who knows, knows. If you know, you know that the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish is just one of the best powders. Legit on the market has been for a very long time and i haven't used this in years and the other day i thought 
I want to make my foundation more natural. I want to just change up my look a little bit, not so heavy. And this is the first thing that came to mind. I went straight to the Mac store in Sovereign and bought it. Thank God they had it. Uh, this is the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Dark. Let me see if I can get y'all to focus on this powder. Yes. Listen. Do not sleep on this. Do not sleep on this powder. I use it in a few different ways. This is a kabuki brush. Just dip it in. Dust across the face. And I tend to do this in the areas where I have not applied concealer. Because I don't want this to be the same color as this. Because I'm highlighting. But what this does, it just gives you... It sets your foundation, one, is a powder. And then two, it has these reflective... Um, particles in it hence the name and it just makes you look glowy and radiant it's like bronzer meets powder and they had a baby and i love bronzer i also use this as a bronzer i will use a different brush something that's much more compact and like like this a little angled brush here and i'll pack this on right here on the top of my cheekbones. I would use a completely different powder to set more than likely I would use my Revlon Color Stay um, in Caramel, which is my complexion. And then I, if I concentrate this skin finish powder in one area, it whoop, works like a bronzer. That is what I'm talking about, listen. Don't sleep. Don't sleep on the OGs, man. They're awesome. All right, now we're going to get to the real part, the eye part. That's what y'all clicked on this thumbnail for, right? Now, let me start off with some brows. I Okay, we kind of have eyebrows. Now, going in with the Berries palette by Juvia's Place, and I'm going to be using this matte pink shade right here at the top, right? Uh, that is the primary, I think that's the only color I use from this palette, but it's the star of the show, so, you know, worth mentioning. Going in with that pink shade, I'm going to need another mirror, and I'm going to run this through my crease. You do not have to be precise about this. You just need to get color on. It's just a wash of color. Yes, it's pink. And yes, I wore this to work. <laughs> I wore this to work that day. So, do not... A few moments later... You guys are not going to believe what just happened to me. Did the whole thing. I shadow winged out the liner and everything only to stop and realize the camera stopped recording. So I just wiped off one eye so that I could show you the entire process. Again, it's the first time for you, but it's the second time for me. I'm not used to this YouTube life. Oh boy. Anyway, here we go again. <laughs> so going in with the matte pink shade from the, the Berries palette by Juvia's Place. Let me find my pink brush. I'm going to run that through my crease. I'm going to check to make sure this is recording. Yes. Can't believe I was ready to put on lashes, you know. Oh my God. Running that pink shade through the crease. So as I was saying, I wore this to work. And I think it makes it 
wearable. I don't know. I mean, it is pink. It is pink. But it's a kind of wearable pink. It worked for me. Everybody loved it. All right, next I'm going in with a pressed powder, as in a foundation powder. This is the Ebony Powder by Black Radiance. This is what I use to contour, as in contour my cheeks, contour my nose. If I'm going to contour my face, this is what I use. And today I'm using it as an eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this. I need another brush. There we go. And I'm going to run this all the way up to where that pink starts, right? And blend the two together. So I'm just taking this. Then I'm going to go with another dark brown shade, just much darker, from the Juvia's Warrior 2 palette, which looks like this. This is the matte one. And I'm going in with these two shades at the top right here. These two. I'm going to mix them together and get that at the base of my lashes. So, this you really want to pack. Before you blend anything, you want to intensify the color first. I'm just dabbing my brush into both colors, pressing that in at the base of the lash. It's the same uh, technique I use for any other kind of smoky eye in terms of just blending the colors and getting a gradation that goes from really really dark to you know all the way up to what would be your highlight color on your brow bone right yes to highlight my brow bone, I am going to use the shade Moscato from the W7 on the Rocks palette, which looks like this. I absolutely love it. I have hit pan on that color. What's this one right here? I love a matte highlight. It's just a vibe. This goes right under the arch of my eyebrow. Very often I'll take this into my inner corner, but I'm not doing that today just because the original look that I did when I created this recently had a gold uh, highlight, which is what I'm going to use. It's also from this palette and it's the shade Espresso Martini. It's just a gold. Just like that. And now I have the pleasure of lining my eye again. Isn't it fun? All right. I'm using the W7 liquid liner in black. I didn't intend for this to be a wing, but it ended up that way. So work with me. We have eyeliner darlings. Okay. And now it's time for the lashes. Today I am using the Ardell Baby Wispies. I've used them a few times. That's why they look a little used. <laughs> That's why they look a little used. Uh, you can use these lashes multiple times. Just take good care of them. Take off a little ex excess glue, you know. I've worn these maybe four times already. I'm just taking off excess glue before I reapply. This may be the last time I wear these lashes, maybe. 
<laughs> put the glue onto the lash itself and allow it to dry this used to give me trouble right it would take forever for me to get my lashes on and I was like what the heck it can't be this hard I've discovered the trick guys the problem is that I didn't have enough patience once you let this glue get tacky once you let this dry down enough the second you put it on it sticks and it doesn't really go anywhere and then you can adjust and shift the ends to where you want it to go and it's fine it's so much easier so I realized I just need to wait I just need to let this really dry I need to have a little bit more patience and then it's so much easier to put lashes on so I'm gonna put this down so that it can get tacky you can check the time signature of this video and see how long it takes so that you can judge for yourself but I'm gonna do something else in the meantime because I don't like to just sit and wait doesn't work well for me so I'm taking my bronzer this is the Milani baked bronzer in Soleil number five and running this along my cheekbones I will put this anywhere if you follow me so you know do what works for you I get the tip of my nails as well I love taking I mean look at that oh, just I mean what is love baby don't hurt me come on put some right there I have also been using for an extra highlight this is the black radiance artisan color baked bronzer in the shade ginger snap I didn't even know that's what it was called until a second ago I take the edge of my kabuki brush and run it right on the top of the apple of my cheek just for an extra something you see that you can see me from space hello how are you sometimes down my nose if I feel like let's check on our lashes to apply them I also use one of these this is from AOA let me see if the YouTube life will work with me now So you're going to need to look into a mirror. You will need to look down into a mirror to apply the lashes. Okay. You want to get a good grip. Let me see if that's any better. Get a good grip on them. Right. These are the tips for success, guys. These are the keys. Looking down into my mirror. Right. If you're like me and you actually have long natural lashes, push past them. Nope, not ready yet. It didn't stick. I'm going to give those another few seconds while I do my cheeks. Taking the e.l.f blush palette in light I've completely hit pan on this one this was the peachy shade any blush that you like of course this pink is gonna pull on the pink on the eyes it's gonna make everything come together yes I'm putting blush all the way up into my temples because it's the 80s moment we all live for okay I'm telling you you need it. You need the blush in your temples. It does something else for you. It just does. Nothing else will give you that. Going back to my lashes. Now we're sticking. See? Now we're sticking. And then I can assemble...
Okay, that's it on my lashes. Now I want this to come up some more. We don't want our lashes to turn down at the end. We want them to turn up, right? So make sure you lift. Now's a good time to place them where you want them because it's not all the way dry yet. So take your time. Mold, shift, adjust. Let them hang out. We've got lashes. On to the next side. Alright, just to finish up the look now, I'm going to go for something pretty nude. Of course, once I leave my house, I'm going to put on a mask so no one will see what's on my lips unless I'm going to be eating or if I'm around my family and friends, persons who are within my household, who I'm around all the time. So, but for this look, I'm going to go with something pretty nude on the lips because the eyes are saying everything today. I'm going to use my lip balm. Any lip balm of your choice will do. I just don't like to have chapped lips. Ever. Then I'm using this gloss. It's by Gabby Glam. Another sweet girl. Uh, makeup artist in Jamaica who has created her own line of products. This is her... Lip gloss is from her latest collection, and this shade is called Blessed. It's a really pretty pinky nude gloss. Gonna just apply that with my fingers actually. And just dab it in. See that? And then when you have lips that are pretty dark around the edges like mine, it kind of acts like a natural lip liner. The more you know. Just dab that in. And this is the final look, ladies and gents. This is my pink and brown, sultry, sexy, but somehow still daytime appropriate smokey eye. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.